an obscure breed, the Wheaton Terrier. What, what attracted you towards the obscure? Well, I think the, we were looking for a family dog, and a dog which is very affectionate. And we found it, I think, in the Wheaton. And the fact it was obscure made it more intriguing. What are their good features? Well, they're a, uh, a very uh, much a family-oriented uh, dog, uh, Don, and uh, they're an enthusiastic dog in the family, so they're good for families with kids and, and that sort of thing. And uh, they're a very good watchdog, and they'll let you know that they're not happy with something, and that's when you go and check. They're noted for their um, ability to produce a good solid litter of puppies. They are indeed. Uh, we, the average litter is probably eight or nine, but there have been uh, cases of up to 16 overseas. Now, it, to me, it's a sort of an intermediate coat. It's not wiry like some of the terrier types, but neither is it really fluffy, perhaps, like some of the other just long-haired dogs. No, it's a very unique uh, coat, Don. It doesn't shed at all. Uh, has very little dog odour, uh, particularly if you wash it from time to time. But you do need to comb the dead hair out, otherwise uh, it'll knot and cause the dog uh, some inconvenience. The origin of the breed is Ireland? Very much an Ireland, yes. It's regarded really as the ancestral stock of most of the Irish terrier breeds. And obviously, at least with you looking at your tie, the Irish aspect of this is important. Oh, very, very much. My, my ancestors were Irish, and uh, we've named most of our dogs after Irish places because uh, we, we feel very much an affinity with our Irish forebears. In terms of personality, just looking at them all running around yes. together, clearly they're not as hyperactive nor as aggressive as a lot of terriers. They're a very quiet dog, and again, that goes back to their, their roots. They were a single family dog, and you lived in the house with the family, and you couldn't have a dog that wanted to take the two-year-old's fingers off every time they met. They're not a yappy terrier. If they're barking, as I said, you need to go and check why. They do some fairly curious things when they're playing together. They, they can jump up and, and be known to give the Wheaton hug. They really do. They wrap their arms around each other and they'll do it to you, you know, family members too, both arms yeah. around each other. Now, broadly speaking, there's sort of only one colour. That, well, you're not only broadly speaking, there is really only one colour. There may be slightly different shades in it, but it's a Wheaton colour, and Wheaton's in the name. And, and it's called Wheaton because... Of course, the shade of, of ripening wheat. The Suffolk Wheaton has recorded two very significant problems in overseas lines. Firstly, a congenital brain dysfunction, which causes fitting and eventually death of the animal, and also kidney problems, which also lead to death of the animal. But, to date, these have not been seen in any of the lines in Australia. So, for the moment at least, we can give them a clean door to open.